Good morning, everyone. It's Ben Jones here hanging out in my workshop again. I'm going to turn off my water that's heating there. Um, just wanted to talk a little bit about scales versus scoops. Um, not really which is better, but what's the goal we're going after? Um, I think that's a much more reasonable way to approach this. So, to start, I have in the neighborhood of, uh, of 35 to 40 grams of fresh ground batter from Bronson Dancing Goats. Um, it's more than enough coffee to make my single cup of coffee when I'm doing my daily routine using my little diner mug um, as my goal. About 10 ounces. I want to use about 19 grams of coffee, so when I come in the morning, I measure out. You know, it's usually 19.0, maybe 19.3 grams of coffee. Grind that up and then we make the coffee and go. Um, a coffee friend of mine shared the other day that she uh, she was out somewhere else. Or no, the batteries in her scale died and I uh, didn't really know what to do. She was like, oh my god, I'm so reliant on the scale. So I thought, well, let's, let's talk about, um, let's talk about scoops. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I have a Kalita Wave right here, and I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to put the, the filter in, and I'm doing this because it's a real simple, easy way to make coffee. I'm going to go and turn on my scale, and it should be set to zero. The reason I have overground my more coffee than I need is because I want to make sure that it's nice and able to be fluffy, and um, we can look at what's happening with the grounds. So I'm going to tilt this down a little bit. And I know that the numbers will be backwards for y'all, but at least you can see what's happening here. Um, so I'm just going to take this in. If I'm going to make my, my coffee, I'm just going to take a full scoop, dig in there. We have a nice amount, and I'm just going to give it a little shake off so that it's essentially level across the top. I didn't swipe it across the top, but it's levelish. And that is 19.2 plus 19.2 is 18.4, so I want a touch extra. So there we go. I've added my two scoops. I have 18 and a half grams of coffee. So that's plenty to make my cup. Now, something that we can look at too is um, I think I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to put, uh, put this on here. Clear that out. Now if I take that same scoop, I'm going to take a big heap, I'm not going to level it off. And that's going to be 11 grams. And then here I'm trying to scrape the edge of the container, get a little more. So I'm two scoops in, a big one, and a little one, I got 18 grams. Alright, so what are we going to learn from this? A scoop will work. It's definitely a tool that's good to use. The challenge here is when you get down to the bottom, you can't really scoop it out. You have to kind of do this pouring thing and you risk having extra ground coffee left over. So for some people, freshness is a big concern and that becomes an issue for them. So that's less than desirable. The other thing that we're gonna see with a scoop is that it's going to make a cup of coffee. What degree of consistency are you looking for? That's the biggest goal here. I like to use my 19 gram measuring unit simply because when I get my bag of coffee, I can anticipate how that's going to roll and I'm going to be able to get a fixed amount of cups out of this coffee. Whereas if I'm guessing, and if you're up or down, you know, 10% <clears throat> on your scooping, you're going to be up or down 10% on your final uh, cup quantity out of the out of the bag so that's one of those issues there I'm really trying to not do a right or wrong do this don't do that just like when we're brewing coffee um, all the little specifics of like you know clockwise pour counterclockwise pour pour I don't I don't mind those so much um, I'm more concerned with are we getting the basics done right? Are we getting the coffee wet? Letting it bloom? And then just generally keeping a nice bit of water in there. 
Anyway, so scales versus scoops. When you're working on a small cup scale, that up or down temper set isn't, it's not huge. Um, you know, when you're talking an extra gram, an extra gram and a half, not that big deal. When you start ranking up to larger portions, um, if you're talking about a, uh, you know, if you're doing batch brews, um, making a 12 cup coffee maker, that's when I really started to see the big shift because, uh, you know, a, a five to 7% shift in coffee grounds at that level, that's a significant amount of coffee. The other thing is that a lot of people say in the mornings, I'm not awake yet. I haven't had my coffee. We know, we know the, we know the drill, right? Seven, six, six, seven. Was that six or seven scoops? I don't remember. It happens a lot more than I care to have admitted. Anyway, I'm a big fan of using scales simply because if I'm making two liters of coffee, I want to use really anywhere between kind of 50 to 65 uh, grams of coffee per liter. That's a big shift. If I'm look, if I want to make it uh, nice and light and delicate, some people call it weak. I wouldn't be using much more than 100 grams. Uh, if I wanted it to be uh, a real strong and full flavored cup of coffee, get as much coffee flavor into there as I can. I'll be using you know, 60 to 65 grams per liter. That puts us up into the 120 to 130 gram range. So the difference between 100 grams and 130 grams, you'll see that on a scale and you'll definitely taste it in the cup. Easy to lose when you're scooping at those larger volumes. So that's my rough take on scoops versus scales. For me, a scale is such an easy way to get a repeatable cup of coffee, control my consumption of the beans, and then also get a more consistent brew as things go. Um, it also helps to control the water dose um, really well. Uh, when you're, we roughly say for small cups, we're saying about 30 grams go to an ounce. Um, it's not a perfect measurement because shifting from Mass, volume, mass of water and volumes of water is incredibly challenging because when the water heats, it expands. So you can't say that eight ounces, fluid ounces, equals you know 240 grams of. It's fairly close, but anyway, that's a whole different discussion. There are a lot of great scale options if you're looking to get into a scale. Uh, on our website, batdwarfcoffee.com, we have, of course, the Escali, which is a nice little scale. It's great price point, battery operated, um, <clears throat> long battery life out of those. Um, and we're also going to, pardon me, uh, what you want to look for with a scale is you want to get something that will do at least half gram measurements. We don't need to go down to tenths necessarily. Mine will, but mine is overkill. Um, you know, for you can definitely get into something uh, at a real good reasonable price. The Escali is a great little scale. It's lightweight, portable. It has a good capacity. So uh, we want to consider. Um, Sorry, I'm distracted by my coffee here because it's really tasty. Uh, we want to consider some things like um, capacity and response time. So capacity being how much weight can I put on top of my scale? Not how much weight will it read, but how much weight can I put on top of it? Um, a lot of scales we rated in the kind of like the 2,000 to 4,000 gram range. Um, so that's, you know, that's a decent amount. When you can get two to four kilos on a scale, that's going to be more than plenty for your uh, daily coffee use. If you're single cup, you can drop down to a 2,000. If you're doing Chemexes, you might want to do uh, the 4,000 capacity range. That's simply because uh, we want to protect the load cell and we don't want to overload it because then the scale is kind of useless. The other thing we want to look at is the response time. 
when you put um, when you when you put a load onto the scale, how quickly is it going to process that change in load? Um, let me show you a little something on this little scale here. So if we look at these numbers down here, you can see how rapidly those are changing. That's because even just me moving it in my hand, it's we're, we're sensing that change in the load. Uh, it's sensing the force that's applied just from moving it in the air. So when it's sitting on the counter and I drop a couple beans onto it, just little light taps, it'll have a very rapid response. Again, this one's overkill, we don't need that. You just wanna look for something that has a nice, decent response so that as you're pouring water in, when it reads 300 grams with your target being 320 grams, you're not gonna to have to like anticipate uh, so much lag time um, and you'll miss your mark. But the Ascali is a great little scale. Um, definitely would recommend checking that out. Easy way to keep things consistent. And by all means, make sure you know how to use a scoop too for those days that your batteries run low. You find out you damage your load cell. Or maybe you just, you know, whatever reason. Thanks for joining me today. Um, it's a good cup of coffee. Monday morning, the 25th, January. Uh, we'll see you back most likely on Friday. I may have a few things come up. Don't know what's going to happen exactly, but I'm planning to be here back Friday morning. Take care.